There was a time when this maximum security prison had one of the worst reputations in the country. Now the Louisiana State Penitentiary is a model prison for other states. And one of the men responsible for that change is Warden Burl Kane. Kane once worked for the Farm Bureau as Director of Field Services, and now he is standing by with this week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine. A.J.? Thanks, Mike. And joining us now is Louisiana State Penitentiary Warden, Mr. Burl Kane. And uh, Burl, we're, the reason we're out here is to check out the farming operation here at Angola. Tell us how important is that to the prison? Ooh, first of all, it provides work for the inmates, which you know is good for them because they have something to do to get, use up their energy and so forth. And uh, the other thing it is that we produce our own food, and we don't ever open a can here, which is really cool. And we uh, we also going back more to the primitive farming, which saves diesel fuel, which is good because we have teams of mules now that pull the Roundup rig to kill the grass, and we also are are going to be using that for for mowing on the levee. We turned over a tractor one year, so now we have mules that can be pulling different kind of mowers we're experimenting with. But uh, the work in the farm is critical to Angola. That's what it is. It's a plantation prison. It was that way throughout its entire history. So very important that we have agriculture here on the farm. And that's what I have a degree in. My degree is in agriculture. So I understand the farm really good, and I love the, I love the farm. Now, everyone knows in, in Louisiana and maybe all over the country the hard work that you've done in promoting the, the, the rodeo here at Angola. Tell folks about when that is and, and how that came about. Man, a rodeo is really fine. It, it's every Sunday in October, the third weekend in April. We just finished our April rodeo, very successful, and we're looking forward to October. And the rodeo is our chance to bring the public in to see what we do about our farm being clean, the behavior of the inmates, that moral rehabilitation really did occur here, that this is a safe place, our community is safe, and we tell people we live in a gated community because we have over <laughs> 600 people live inside the farm in the subdivision here, mm -hmm. and our gate yard has a real gun and so forth. So. We are in a gated community, but it, it's really good for the inmates. It lets them show that we, are, we have changed. We are rehabilitated. We can go and mix with the public. We're safe now. We've changed our lives. And that equals back into less violence in the prison, which is really good. And so because they have to behave to go to the rodeo. So it's, it's a real behavior modifier, if you want to say that. But it's really, it's really a good thing for the public as well. And they have a chance to sell their wares, and then that supports them. They don't have to have money from home because they have these long sentences and no one to send them anything to buy their cookies and cakes and so forth. What kind of things have you done to change the levy system here at Angola to kind of prevent what, ha what almost happened in, in 1997? Well, our levee was built with wheelbarrows and uh, way back when, and it was built with the closest soil, which was sandy, and so the 97 levee was absolutely substandard, and we almost lost this prison. Mm -hmm. And we would have lost it, the Corps of Engineers informed us, within the next 20 years, which would have been this flood, because this is the second highest flood we ever had. The record flood was 97, it's 61.4 inches. This flood went to 60.7. Wow. The 1927 flood wasn't but 58 feet here. Mm -hmm. So this flood would have taken out our levee. And I, I, I commend the wisdom of Governor Foster and the uh, Corps of Engineers and also the Louisiana National Guard to rebuild these levees after the 97 flood, which is what really saved us now. We had very little problem, we had a few, but we were able to cope with this flood because of the change in the levee and rebuilding the levee system. Couldn't afford to lose Angola. It'd be a billion dollar loss to this state, you know, to lose it. And if you ever had the river cut through it, yeah, I mean, it would be catastrophic to the taxpayers if we had to rebuild Angola because of the tax, the cost. It would be over a billion dollars. So that would have been a horrible thing. So it's really good they had the wisdom to rebuild the levee. Well, thank you, Warden, for your time. We appreciate the time that you spent with us here today. He is Warden Burl Kane, Louisiana State Penitentiary.